Hello everybody and welcome to another AFT, Asia Fixes Tech Series. And this is not actually fixing, it is just upgrading from hard disk drive inside this laptop to this crucial BX500 solid state drive. Um, this is uh, 240 gigs, 2.5 inch solid state drive with SATA connector. And this laptop is old x55a asus asus laptop so in this video first i will go over the bx500 model uh, compare i will compare it with the mx500 model just few basic informations about them uh, what is the difference also i will unbox it and take the uh, this drive which is inside this laptop and connect it to my laptop. I will make a backup from whole drive with Macrium Reflect application program. I will clone it to a file on my laptop and then I will connect this solid state drive over the USB adapter and clone this backup to this drive. I'm doing this way because I want to have backup from whole system just for a hive, just to be sure that I have so if something happens I can just get another drive and put the uh, operating system and everything already installed and such back on it. Of course I will show you whole process today so this video should be interesting. So without further ado, let's just start the video, shall we? So this is BX500 Crucial uh, 2.5 so, uh, inch solid state drive disk, which is 240 gigabytes. Uh, there is also MX500 like I mentioned before. There are some differences. The MX500 costs for same capacity 10 euros more than this one. So this solid state drive I got for 37.17 euros. But if we look at the MX500 it costs currently 46.17 93 euros yeah that is from one um, web store here in slovenia your prices may differ of course wherever you are in the world so there are differences between this one and the mx500 the first difference is let's say this one has limited three year warranty where mx500 has a limited five year warranty also bx500 you can find only win, with the zeta connector you cannot find it for m.2 socket this one's the lowest version was 128 gigabytes but it is not manufactured for some time now so it is going from 240 gigabytes to 2 terabytes and same goes for the mx500 one and again, those are budget solid state drives. Those are not intended for heavy gaming usage, heavy video editing and such. Even that you could use them, I prefer that you buy something better, expensier. So this one is more for light stuff, so beware of that. So we're here on this website, which I will include also in the description below this video. You will see a bunch of information, the difference between BX and MX500 models. If you want to read it, just go down in the description and look at it. Also, I will include this website, which is the official Crucial website. You can see the basic information about them so i do i basically do not need to cover all this information because this video is more intended for the backup and replacing and such so in front as you see there is crucial uh, the memory storage experts 
you see 240 gigabytes bx500 2.5 inch solid state drive over here uh, I put sticker on because uh, here are serial number and uh, codes so yeah on this side crucial bx500 uh, 6 gigabits per second 2.5 inch solid state drive uh, over here a bunch of the icons if you want to read it just go ahead uh, this is from germany in germany that's good also some more informations if you want to read it read it uh, then i have the back uh, this is a sticker which is here in slovenia we get this sticker for uh, warranty informations and such there is not much if you want to read it if you know slovenian language go ahead yep and such so now let's just take away this laptop for now and let's open up this box so now let's uh, use the knife and here is the sticker i can just cut it slowly for maximum pleasure <laughs> let's say so if i open it here it is crucial solid state drive it is inside the, this uh, in, uh, plastic thingy This is the paper, basic information in many different languages, service information and such. If you want to read it, go ahead. If you can see, oops, I think you can see them, see all this. Just pause the video and read it. <clears throat> Next, yeah. and this is the solid stage drive, which looks nice. It has plastic cover. And here are some informations, uh, BX 2.5 uh, SSD, uh, 240 gigs, some information, serial number and such is under the finger. So here is the SATA connector, power connector and the command focus. Uh, uh, power connector and this is for data and such this is cheap uh, USB free to SATA adapter you can find it for I don't know three bucks four bucks on um, from Aliexpress or wherever also this one has the additional power if you want to connect the big 3.5 inch uh, hard drive so you have additional power possibility and such so let me just skip to the taking out the hard disk drive from the laptop shall we so here is the laptop this battery is dummy battery it is only a plastic shell so nothing inside so i do not need to remove it Remember that when you're taking out the drive, that power is not connected to the laptop and battery disconnected if possible. So this drive, I believe it is under this cover, I hope. So I have here two screws. Do not lose the screws, please. 
and this I believe it just slides and yes here is the this hard disk drive mechanical hard disk drive so there is very easy to take out the drive in this case I need to unscrew one and two uh, screws let me go uh, a little bit closer so let's maybe put it like this do not lose the screws no I'll just pull it for here and take the drive out so this one is western digital black 500 gigabytes of drive this is a good one and now what i need to do is to connect this drive to my laptop and show you how to back it up clone it to a file so first of all what i will need to do is to connect the usb site adapter to the drive you see you can put uh, connect it only one way like this so over here i have macrium reflect free program it is completely free program that i have used for few years now and it works great there is several programs that you can use for backupping and cloning the these drives and such but i will use this macrium reflect free so here under the local disks i have three disk drives uh, this one is one terabyte which is inside the laptop this one is 250 gigs of the ssd nvme samsung drive and this is my external uh, usb drive western digital elements and i will make a backup on this drive because i do not have enough space inside my laptop for backup currently now i will connect my uh, this hard disk drive which is which was inside the laptop and now after a few seconds you can click refresh and here it is 500 gigabytes in my case this is whole this drive and now to begin imaging the drive i can just click on the image this disk but make sure that correct disk drive is selected to backup correct disk drive so whatever drive you select let's say this one that i want to these additional options down here uh, shows up so over here you have two options to clone this disk or to image this disk clone this disk means that you will clone it to another disk drive directly without saving to your computer but in my case i want to have backup of this disk drive so i will use image this disk so just left mouse button click on it this window pops up now i need to select where i want to save it just make sure that folder is selected you can also to burn it to cd dvd and such but it is not useful anymore for a long time so i'll just leave it to folder inside here i will just click this black folder under here i will go to my elements excel on this drive i will go to backup disks uh, here i have already few disk backups i will click on the backup disks and create new folder and i will type in for example today's date mom laptop new and when i'm done press enter key on the keyboard make sure that this is clicked and selected and click redo okay in my case uh, few elements are in slovenian language because this is slovenian language operating system so i will just translate it to english when i need to okay so now you see i backup disks and new folder that i created here will be saved 
complete disk will take 80.51 gigabytes. Next, click next when you are done with these elements. Here you can make a template if you want, but I won't do it. I will leave it is none and don't do anything inside here. So I'll just keep it. Click next. Over here there are uh, basic informations about what, what we will, will be doing today. You see total selected is 80.51 gigabytes, current time, etc. And when you're done, click finish button. Over here the backup save options. So all the options that I've made, I can save them. I will click these three dots, go to elements backup disks and save it directly to the folder where I will backup the hard disk drive. Just click on it, select it and click Uredu. OK. And when you're done, click OK. And now all I need to do is just to wait until this is done. So for you will be quickly, I will just fast forward this video until this is done. So, see you on the end! And here it is, it is completed successfully in 11 minutes 16 seconds for 80 gigs. Remember that this time different uh, in your case. It all depends on what speed of your computer is, if you are backupping from USB drive or directly from the computer, etc, etc, etc. There are many things that come up how fast it will be backed up. So now I'll just click OK and close. And existing backups I see over here. And this one is today's, the latest, this one. I mean this one. And this size compressed a little bit. So it is 61 gigabytes on the disk drive. So now, because this disk drive is connected over the USB, I will safely eject it. Just find this like flash key button. You may have it uh, hidden over here when you click on this arrow. Just find it and just click on it with left mouse button. And then in my case, it is external disk 3.0. Click on it, wait a little bit. And now I heard that this drive uh, turned down and you see it is not over here anymore. So now I can safely take it out. If you connect that drive directly inside your computer or laptop whatsoever, then first turn off your computer, disconnect and connect another drive in and then turn on computer back. So here is this, this drive. I will disconnect it and because this uh, metal shroud the, that is from the laptop goes to this drive, I will just switch it right away. So I'll switch it, it is easy, you have four screws, two on each side of the disk. And now Make sure that shroud goes exactly the same way uh, uh, with the disk, old disk, as the new disk drive. So you see, I just transferred like this and put it inside and start screwing in the screws. 
Do not screw them all the way in just yet. First screw in all the screws and then when you are when all screws are in, screw them all the way to the end. Uh, does not have space let's say to screw it in because the screwed in part took let's say uh, shifted the drive let's say too much to one side and it is hard to screw in so whatever you are unscrewing and screwing back whatever device it is just put the screws back in and when all the screws are in Tighten all the screws. And here it is. Now I do not need all this anymore. Let's connect. Yeah. Um, I, I made a problem here. So I will just unscrew this one screw. I made a mistake so this metal thing it is on the way it is good that uh, connection was good before but in some cases you will need to take off the the shroud the metal thing on the disc to connect it it all depends on by the adapter how it looks like how it is or and the disc and the shroud sometimes you have only two cables power and SATA cable and connect it only and then you do not need to unscrew this uh, etc it all depends on the how it is constructed altogether so now when it is connected I can connect it to my uh, laptop and put the data that I backed up to a file onto this disc drive so let's go so now if i connect this solid state drive in i need to wait for five seconds and now i can select this this drive here but before i do that i can go to create backup and refresh the disk drives and as you see here is 250 gigabytes of solid state drive which is completely empty that way you can check that uh, computer actually detected the drive. So now under the existing backups, I will right mouse button click on the image that I created and click restore image. So here is the disk drive that I backed up, complete drive. And here under the destination, I will click select a disk to restore to. Here I have all the drives connected to my laptop and here it is crucial BX500 240GB of disk drive. I will click on it. Next I will click next. Here are the informations what this application will do and click finish. And the program should manage the partitions the elements according to the drive because drive is half of the size of the hard disk drive that was on so the last partition should be smaller we will see on the end just one thing uh, remember that if this drive is completely new there nothing will be on this disk drive but in case the um, there is some data on it you first need to clean it with this part for example or some partition program and that I will show you a little bit later how to do it. As you see here this popped up because new partitions has been made, new parts of the drive. And here it is, almost on the end, 99%. Let's see, come on, come on, let's go! A little bit, come on. And here it is. Restore completed. Okay, close. 
and now I can go to create backup I can see these partitions created now all I need to do is to disconnect exject external disk drive wait couple of seconds and here it is it is ejected now I can take out from the computer disconnect from the computer and let's switch to the camera Sarah <laughs> okay let's go so here it is this is drive now I can dis disconnect I do not need adapter anymore now all the data that was on this drive this hard disk drive it is on this crucial SSD drive okay uh, uh, it is a little bit crooked camera yes <laughs> so no if you remember I need to screw in this last screw in that I unscrewed before and now here is the laptop now I can put in the this drive remember that when oops uh, it is going this way yes like this screw in the two screws <coughs> I will just put on the cover screw the these two screws and now I can test it So now, uh, let me plug in the power cable so over here you see the barrel connector plug it in and the other side goes to the power and I power on the laptop you see Asus Windows is loading. Remember that this laptop is not SATA free, so you cannot take um, over the fastest speeds that is available for this uh, SSD drive. But you know, anyway, it is still faster than original one. And here it is. Desktop is on, and that's it. Laptop works. And here it is, we came all the way to the end of this video. I hope that you liked it. If you have any questions or just to say hi, you can type everything below in the comment section. I hope that you enjoyed the video. Thank you all the way for coming to all the way to the end. Um, of course, there are a few links web links to the websites for more information inside the description below this video uh, what else if you want to get notified when I am posting new videos uh, so click subscribe button and click bell icon then uh, notify all to get all the notifications if you like the video of big thumbs, thumbs up click if you did not thumbs down and share with others so others can learn also and i think that this concludes this video thank you for being with me and until next time have a blast bye bye Oops. bye bye